Hey guys, what is up? This is TheWide057 and welcome back to another Terraria iOS 1.2.4 video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really cool glitch that will allow you to get unlimited bait. And I'm pretty sure this only works on mobile devices, so that is Android and iOS. And so sorry console and PC users. I um, don't know if this works, it might, but obviously I can't really tell because I don't play either of those versions. Uh, but anyway, maybe some, some of you could tell me in the comments if it works or not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't though. Before I say anything else, I want to give credit to jbro129gaming because uh, his video is the one that actually taught me how to do this and he is the one that I figured, figured this glitch out from. And I don't want to give credit to anyone else because, well first of all, there'd be way too many people to give credit to. And uh, second of all, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are saying that, you know, he's not the founder of the glitch, he probably isn't, uh, but I mean, he's the one that I discovered it from so I'm going to give credit to him. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into this glitch. So the materials you're going to need for this to work is uh, you're going to need one piece of bait. It can be any kind of bait. It could be uh, it can be a worm. It could be a butterfly. It could be a snail. I don't even care. It can just it has to be some sort of bait. And um, also you're going to need 999 of any block or material. I'm using a block. Uh, I'm using stone because I have a ton of stone and it's just easy to get. Uh, actually, you don't need to have 999, but if you want maximum results, then you're going to want to have, like, a block that can stack to 999. Uh, so, obviously, you can get as most as much bait as you can. And uh, what you're going to do, um, the steps are, you're just going to drag one of these items onto another, and then you're going to exit the game real quickly. Uh, so, I'm just going to demonstrate it. It might take a couple tries for it to, for it to work to, for you, because it took a while uh, for it to work for me. Um, so I'm just going to try this once, hopefully it works the first time. You're just going to exit and then go back into your world. And now I'm going to check my fishing route to see if I actually have a thousand bait. Nope, I still have one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. We're just going to drag onto another. And then we're going to exit the game. And we're going to go back in. Hopefully it works. There we go. So it's, it worked for the second time for me. It usually works second or third time. Uh, sometimes it works first, it d depends. Um, but now I have a thousand bait, as you can see, and this is, that's no editing, they're, they're, I'm not an editing wizard, I can't do that, uh, but I'll just, I'll prove it to you in a second. And sometimes when you actually use this bait, it does not go down, like the bait count does not go down. Uh, so I'm going to show you right now, I'm just going to go fishing for a little bit, and I'll show you, and before I say anything else, uh, I want to tell you guys that if you just keep it in this form, like, if you don't do anything from this step on, then eventually the bait is going to disappear. But I'll, f I'll, d um, I'll tell you how to prevent that from happening in my next step. But for now, I just want to catch a couple of fish to show you guys that this is not a trick. And, yeah, so, this is taking a, taking a long time. There we go. Uh, so we got a red snapper. And you can, as you can see, the count did not go down, but I can still fish. So here we just got our second fish. Oh, that's not a fish. That's a wooden crate. Wooden crates are actually pretty cool. I'm going to open this real quick for you guys. Uh, we got an anchor. Nice. And some titanium ore. I've never actually gotten that before. That's pretty cool. Wait, <laughs> sorry, I just want to test this out. Ooh. That's actually really cool. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. But, uh, yeah, so <laughs> we got an anchor. That's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, you can see that that was not a glitch. and Or that was not a trick. Like an editing trick, and it actually does work. Um, but... As I was saying before, if you exit the game, like right now, and you keep exiting and going back into different worlds, the bait will eventually disappear, which is bad, um, but there is a different way to avoid that, which jbro129gaming did not include in this video. Well, I, he kind of did, but um, it was in a different part of the video. Um, but what you can do is, basically right now, these stone bricks that you used to uh, like stack onto this worm, the the game is tricked that these, the game thinks that the, these stone blocks are actually bait, uh, but they're not, obviously. Um, and the way you can get the bait out of these stone blocks, or just transform the stone blocks into actual, into your actual bait, is but just by placing the stone blocks. This is, again, why it's easier to use blocks instead of any other material. And as you can see, I'm placing it, and worms are just, like, falling out of the blocks. Like, I'm not placing any blocks, but just worms are falling out of them. And uh, as you can see, my stone brick count has been going down slowly as I've been doing that. I'm just going to catch all these worms. And as you can see, I now have 39 worms as opposed to 1. And I can just keep doing this. It is really time consuming, but I guess you can store these uh, these bricks away in a chest. And they're going to walk off the edge. you got to catch them. You can store these bricks in a chest 
uh, and just like keep doing this whenever you need bait. And again, you can do this with butterflies, you can do this with snails, you can do it with any kind of bait, and it will work. Um, and butterflies are a little bit harder to catch because they, again, do fly around, but I mean, it's not a problem. You have like so many of them anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, I thought this was really cool because I was actually in the process of making a bait farm. And if I figured this out before then, I wouldn't have like put myself through the trouble of making that bait farm. I'll show you right now. Um, it's right over here. And this is a giant pain to make. Like, I had to put, there's a wiring that's involved in this too. So I have to put actuators. I got a clock. What is with my luck today? I'm getting everything on camera. Uh, but anyway, you have to put actuators on every one of these blocks, and it's really, really hard. And then you flip a switch, and then worms are supposed to, like, come out of it, which I guess is pretty effective, but, I mean, you can just use this glitch. If you're on mobile devices, that is. But if you're on playing on a different version of Terraria, then that bait farm would be helpful for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like if this video did help you out. And uh, make sure to leave some suggestions for videos down below if you need any help with anything. I I'll definitely make a video on that. And I'm in the process of making a Duke Fisheron video for you guys. I know you guys have been requesting that a lot, but it's actually pretty hard to make because I can't beat him right now. I'm, uh, I'm working out strategies, and I'm getting pretty close. I'm making arenas and stuff like that. But it is time-consuming, so it will be out soon, I promise. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.